What's up mga kakwento? And once again, we're back with some new content para sa inyong lahat. Alam namin nahihirapan kayong lahat sa paggamit ng inyong mga manual calcio. Siguro dahil nasanay kayo sa paggamit ng cycle or ano pa ibang rason. Kaya dahil dyan, tuturoan namin kayo ng mga tips and tricks kung papaano nga ba gamitin yan to its full potential. So ngayon, we will be calculating for the present value factor of a single payment and a present value factor of an ordinary annuity. Handa na ba kayo? Let's go! So yan na. So let's start by computing the present value factor of a single payment. Parang ikaw. Okay. So kunwari, compute for the present value factor of a single payment of 10% for 5 years. So ano unahin? Siyempre, ilabas mo ng iyong calculator. Tapos, alamin ko anong rate. Ang sabi, 10%. So yung 10% na yan, add mo yan sa 1. So 1.1. Uh, wag ka nag 1 plus 10%, wag ka ma-pressure. Madali lang yan. So pag 8%, edi 1.08. Hindi 1.8. Hindi po tayo 5.6. Ano? Once you have that, remember, in computing for the present value of a single payment, di ba dapat pa-negative yan eh? Di ba? Pa-negative exponent. So i-divide mo yun sa sarili niyan sa 1. Di ba? So gawin mo, di ba? 1 divided by 1.1. Tapos ulit-ulitin mo yan, di ba? 5 times. Hassle! Tapos tandaan mo, naka-manual calculator ka. So kung ganun, paano to? Okay. So yung kanina nga, yung 1.1 na yan, imbis na mano-mano mo ng divide, those equals, divide, those equals, what you do here is, you press divide twice. Ayan. So that will tell the calculator na, hoy, i-divide mo to sa sarili. Okay. Now, eto ang magic. You press the equal sign to the number of periods that you need. So, bale, 5 years. So, press ko to ng 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ayan. Now, when you have that, laging tataan, when you're solving problems kadalasan sa exams, they only need 4 decimal places. So, run off natin. So, 62092. So, pwede na itong 0.6209. O, diba? Ang dali lang. So again, to repeat, 1.1, divide, divide, tapos 5 years. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0.6209. 0.6209. 0.6209. O diba ang dali? Paano pag 3 years lang? Okay, so 10% for 3 years, diba? So 1.1, tapos divide, divide. Sabi nga 3 years, so yung only press the equal sign 3 times. So 1, 2, 3. Ayan na. Then, round off to 4 decimal places. So, 3, 1. So, no need to add 1. So, 0.7513. So, ayan na. Okay? So, yan ang PV factor for 10% for 3 years. Okay. Subukan nyo naman. Para naman kung present value ng isa, single payment, 5% for 4 years. Bigyan ko kayong 10 seconds. So, 1.05 kasi nga 5%. Divide, divide kasi nga single payment. Tapos, 4 years. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Round off to 4 decimal places. So, ayan na. 0.82270. O pwedeng 0.8227 kasi yung 0 may truncate. Decimal naman yan. Okay? Huwag ka ma-pressure. Ayun, di ba? Sobrang dali lang talaga sa pagkumpit ng ganyan. Okay. Paano naman ngayon kung present value of an ordinary annuity? So, di ba, pag installments ngayon, parang hirap dito kung isa-isahin ko yung present value. O sige, may trick tayo dyan. May PV factors din po yon. So, paano? So, for example, um, 10%, 5 years, or 5 periods, pero ordinary annuity. So, limang bagsangan, limang payments. So, anong gagawin? 
1.1. Parang kanina lang. Tapos, divide, divide. Parang kanina ulit. Tapos, press me equals time 5 times. Parang kanina lang din ulit. 2, 3, 4, 5. But this time, pag may ganyan ka na, huwag mo muna i-round off. Huwag mong gagalawin. Okay? What do we do? There are two potential ways that we can continue from this point on. Yung una, kung sineswerte ka sa calculator mo at meron kang GT which stands for Grand Total, press it. And there. Once again, just press GT or Grand Total and then it's there. So, after nyan, four decimal places. So, 7907.8. So, 3.79 plus 0.001. 3.7908. Yan na po ang ating present value factor of an ordinary annuity for 10% for 5 years. O, di ba? So, yun na yun. Now, anong isa pang paraan? So, balik tayo sa kanina. So, 1.1 divide, divide tapos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ayan. Di ba dyan tayo nang galing? Kung minalas ka at wala ka namang grand total sa inyong calculator, what you can do is, una, minus 1. Yan. Minus 1. Tapos tinan mo yung number. Seems familiar. Sige nga, tinan natin. I-divide mo ngayon sa rate. Sa interest rate. Ano ba interest rate natin? 10%. At anong lumabas? Ayun din. Bossing, negative. Okay lang. Huwag kang mangamba. Gagana pa din yan. Negative nga lang. Okay. So once again, ayan. 3.79078. So kanina, pag ni-round up ko yan, 3.7908 pa din yan. O ba? Diba? Same lang. So either way, pwede kang mag minus 1 divided by the rate or equals 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 as GT na lang. So testing yun natin. Halimbawa, 10% for 3 years. So, parang kanina lang, kulin mo PV factor na pang 3 years, tapos, GT mo na. O, diba? O, kaya naman, 1.1, 1, 1, 2, 3, tapos, minus 1, divided by the interest rate. Same. E, 10% gamit mo lagi, favorite mo. Oo, kabisado ko eh. Paano pag 8%? O, sige. Sige. 8% tayo. 1.08. Tapos kunwari, sabihin natin 6 years. So, divide, divide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ayan. I-GT ko. Tandaan nyo ha. Tingnan natin sa kabilang paraan. 1.08. Divide, divide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Minus 1. Divided by the rate, which is 8%. Ah. 08. O, diba? Sabi sa'yo, nakakalito ang ganyan. Tao lang. Mm. 4.6229. O, pareho lang. O, diba? So, what's the point here? Either way will work. Ang mahalaga is, makuha mo dapat yung numbers sa to. Kasi, yan ang multiply mo sa installment payments para ma-present value mo silang lahat ng sabay-sabay. At saka maging efficient ka. O ba Ang saya. So, dyan na nga po nagtatapos ang ating calculator content. Sana lang man may naipult kayong aral sa video na ito. If you want more of these things, please let us know in the comments down below. We appreciate all the positive and of course the negative feedback na ibibigay niya sa amin. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell para notified kayo sa lahat ng latest namin mga pakulo. Follow us on all of our socials down below, and we'll see you in the next video.